Hi, it's Jo here from One of Many. And I know we've said buy yourself a bath bomb for a raise. It sounds like some kind of self-care cliche. Oh yes, if you just go and buy yourself a bath, have a nice bath, you're going to make more money. Of course it's not that. But there is a shred of truth in this little proposition I'm putting to you today. In fact, there's way more than a shred when we dig down and see the truth of what sits underneath it. I want to introduce you to one of our five women's power types today. Here at One of Many, we have five women's power types, which when we can harness the energy or the power of these five archetypes, we have access to uh, the resources to handle most any situation that a mature woman could find herself in. Now, the one I want to have a look at today is called The Lover, hence why I'm in the bedroom today. Now, yes, the lover is that power type, that part of us, which is our sensual and sexual selves. But she is so much more than that, because at the center of the lover power type is the center of our self-care. If you see this image of the lover here in our card, it's a woman sitting on a beautiful copper bath, you know, taking care of herself. This is a really important thing. When I go into corporate environments and I do presentations on the power types, which we do quite a bit, the lover power type is perhaps the one which is most ambivalent for in the corporate environment. Women think, oh yes, I understand how all the others work, warrior s queen, yes, I understand them in corporate, but what are you, what are you saying, you know, that I should be more sexual at work? Absolutely not. What do we see a lot though in a professional environment? We see women who are suffering from job stress and burnout at a rate 60% higher than what men do. We are seeing overwhelm and burnout as an epidemic. And I believe that that is because we are living in the power type, in the archetype of superwoman, highly adrenalized, push through, make it all happen. And we have a profiling tool that many members of our community do which rates you on these five power types. And what we see routinely for women who are burned out, lover is the lowest. It's the underexpressed lover because the lover is the center of self-care. She is the part of us that worships and nurtures this beautiful body we've been given. We get one every lifetime, right? We only got this one vessel that we live in and most of us treat it like it's this thing that hangs off the bottom of our heads. We need to start to learn to nurture and nourish it, not just because it feels nice to do it and it makes us happier, be it because it does, but because if we do, we activate a radiance inside of us that um, opens us up to expressing our lover power type. And when we open up and express our lover power type, we become charismatic, we become magnetic, we become inviting, and as a leader, inside organizations, whether they be corporate organizations, winning um, contracts for your small business, whether it be community organizations, the lover is a powerful place to come from when you do need to invite people to, uh, to take action with you, when you do want to go for that raise and get that promotion. So I'm not suggesting that one bath bomb is going to get you a raise, but I am suggesting that those behaviors that nurture and nourish your lover power type, that have you feel in your body and activate your radiance and your magnetism, that, my darling, will attract incredible opportunity into your life. So I'm interested. How do you feel about the lover power type? Is she something you have ready access to? You do take good care of yourself. Self-care is big and important to you. Or is she something where you feel, oh God, I kind of can't get into that. She feels hard to access. Let us know in the comments on this video here. And if this has been helpful for you, I'd really love for you to share this with a friend. Tag her in the comments box. Share this with a friend, someone who you know could do with a little bit of self-cherishing and self-care. It's been lovely to speak with you and I hope to get to know you better.